America. Today I'm going to be reading The Ant and the Grasshopper. There was once a very lazy grasshopper named Gale. At the very first hint of spring, when the ground had scarcely thawed and the buds on the trees had barely blossomed, Gale spent her days lounging in the sweet grass and singing to her heart's content. Unlike Gale, her neighbor, Mimi the ant, was very hard working. As soon as the cold winter months were behind them, Mimi wasted no time preparing her home and collecting provisions for the upcoming winter. Every day, Gale watched Mimi busily bustle about. Not a moment was wasted, and there seemed to be no end to Mimi's hard work. Gale felt tired just watching her. She didn't understand why Mimi spent all her time preparing for the winter to come when each day was filled with beautiful, warm, sunny weather. After all, but summer was only about three months, and every moment should be enjoyed. One day, Gail invited Mimi to come and sing along with her. I don't have time for that. I have chores to finish before the next winter arrives, replied Mimi. Why worry about all that now? Summer has only just begun, said Gail. You will be thinking that when the cold winter returns, retorted Mimi. And with that, Mimi returned to her chores. Gail paid no attention. Mimi worked way too hard. It was no fun at all. She probably didn't even know how to have fun. One day she's going to wake up and see that life has passed her by, thought Gail. That night, Gail went home and continued to sing. She sang so loudly that Mimi couldn't sleep. That pesky grasshopper is going to regret all that singing, Mimi grumbled to herself as she hid her head under her pillow. The days passed. Summer was now coming to an end, and the grasshopper hadn't collected any provisions. One morning, Gail finally decided to collect a few fresh leaves. Along the way, she ran into Mimi, who was collecting grain in her wheelbarrow. Mimi looked very tired. Why, Mimi? You look totally exhausted. I think you've worked too hard, said Gail. Ha! If I look tired, it's because my grasshopper neighbor ruins my sleep every night with her terrible loud singing, huffed Mimi. Mimi picked up the handles of her wheelbarrow and continued on her way. Gail shrugged her shoulders and continued to collect leaves. Soon, her stomach started to grumble. She looked at her harvest, and her mouth watered. I should eat some of this right now while it's fresh, she decided. If I run out, I can easily collect more tomorrow. With that, Gail hungrily wolfed down the leaves until there was nothing left. The next day, the sun shone so brightly that Gail decided to spend the day singing in the field instead of collecting leaves. I'll do it tomorrow. Summer's coming to an end, but I still have lots of time, she reasoned. Each day that passed was a bit cooler than the day before, and Gail still hadn't collected any provisions. The trees had almost lost all their leaves. Winter wasn't far off now. Mimi, who had finished harvesting her provisions and preparing for the cold winter months, peered out her cottage window and saw her neighbor singing away. What a pest! She better not count on me for any charity this winter, thought Mimi. One morning, Gail awoke shivering, covered in a blanket of snow. Oh no, I sang so much that I didn't notice the time, and now winter is here and I have nothing to eat, she panicked. The grasshopper traced through the deep snow with difficulty. A harsh wind blew around her, and she had trouble going anywhere. Suddenly, she spotted a single leaf dangling from a tree branch. Just as she was about to reach the leaf, it was whisked away by a gust of wind. I'm so hungry, she wailed. Desperate, Gail continued along her way in search of shelter. She soon came upon the ant's cottage. I could ask Mary to lend me some food until the spring. I'm sure she won't say no, Gail thought. 
Theo peered through Mimi's cottage window and saw Mimi and her family enjoying a hearty meal. The table was covered with the most delicious-looking feast. There were leaves galore. The grasshopper knocked on the cottage door. She would give anything for a little piece of leaf. But Gail was so cold that she fainted and collapsed on the doorstep. When Mimi answered the door, she found Gail in a heap on her doorstep. She hesitated for a moment. She got what she deserves. Thought the ant. But still, I can't leave her out in the cold. With her family's help, Mimi brought Gail into the house and laid her in front of the fireplace to warm up. Soon, Gail woke up, and the ants offered her a bowl of hot soup to get her back on her feet. Please, Mimi, don't send me out there. You were right. I was very wrong. I wasted my time foolishly all summer instead of harvesting provisions as I should have," begged the grasshopper. Mimi looked at Gail and said in a very serious tone, "Only those who have worked hard deserve to share the harvest." Gail sadly and slowly made her way to the cottage door. "You sang all summer," added the ant. Why don't you spend your winter dancing? Maybe that way you can entertain my family and I, and that will be your contribution. A smile spread across Gail's face. She thanked her neighbor and began to sing and dance right away. Mimi and her family joined in. Gail was very grateful for Mimi's kindness. She had helped her despite the grasshopper's laziness and the lack of organization. Gail spent the winter entertaining the ants in their cottage. Once again, spring arrived. Gail joined Mimi in the meadow. She built her very own wheelbarrow with leaves and blades of grass, and set to work gathering provisions for the following winter. She had learned her lesson and importance of planning ahead. After all, nothing was stopping her from singing while she worked. As for Mimi, the past winter with Gail showed her the value and importance of having fun. Don't think for a second that she didn't work as hard now. In fact, she worked harder than ever. But every now and then she would pause, and the ant and the grasshopper would sing their hearts out together. The end. I hope you like this video and please subscribe to our channel.